Well, hello crafters. This is Tina from Tina's Crafty Ink Spot. I wanted to share with you a technique I learned today. And it's hard because I couldn't find tutorials for this, but I had seen it and I found one. But I wanted to show you how simple this technique is. It's called abstract string art. And obviously I've been playing today and these are some of the samples of things I've put together. And I just did a blog post of the finished cards I had. Uh, one of what you just add a large greeting and away you go. But as difficult as you think this looks, it really isn't and it's super fun. What you'll need is a paper plate uh, at least I find that to work the best. A piece of cotton string. Uh, I ran out of my white. I've been using it all day. So it really doesn't matter what it is. As long as it's cotton string and it will absorb your reinker. You also need this archaic item called a phone book. I had to really hunt for one to find one in my house. I mean, everybody uses Google and all of that. You also, I would suggest, if you have some either kitchen rubber gloves or I always have disposable gloves. You can buy them by the box loads at the hardware store because I do a lot of things that pretty much cover me in ink. So I'm going to show you really quick how simple this is. And bear with me because I don't think I've ever done a Facebook Live video, but I guess we'll just go with it. What I did here is I have two pieces of just regular Whisper White cardstock. I cut them at four inches by five and a quarter, so that way I could map them if I wanted to. I did do this technique today with uh, Shimmer cardstock, and it was absolutely stunning. So, to start, I'm going to get my gloves on, sorry. I guess I could get inked up. So you simply take a few drops of your reinker. Doesn't really take a lot. I probably put too much there. And this is where it gets fun. I'm gonna go ahead and just open my phone book. I ended up putting a a tab in the middle of the phone book because I kept losing my card, and you'll see what I mean here in a minute. So you're gonna so you take your piece of string. And you just get it all inked up in your reinker. I'm going to set that there. And this is where, let's see which hand should I use. I'm going to go ahead and use this hand for a clean hand. I'm going to move that aside a little and show you what I'm doing here in the phone book. So you just take one of your cardstock. Make sure you're in the camera here. And if I knew how to see if you guys were giving comments, I would respond. But I don't know how to set my phone that way. So you're going to take your string... You're just going to create some swirls on your paper. And I probably messed that one up a little bit. That's okay. Because every time you do this, it's going to be different. Every single time you do it, it's going to be different. I'm going to move that one little string because I know what it's going to do. But that's okay. Take your second piece of paper. Simply just because lay it over it. You're going to get two projects out of one swipe. And the string, you don't need to re-ink each time. I'll show you. Make sure you're in the film here. Use some pressure where your card is. Take your string tag. Just kind of keep a solid pressure on it. And slowly pull your string out. I'm going to 
put it back here because you can get two or three swipes out of one. See why I say you need the little tab to find your... And you can tell the very first one 